Look at what they need to mimic a fraction of our power. Recently, there's been this trend on the health platform formerly known as Twitter, where cis women are saying that they're trans women, allegedly, and getting extremely well paid while doing it. Now, okay, this is fascinating to me because I've had my own controversy on Twitter for also pretending to be a trans woman, appropriating trans womanhood. But wait, how can you even fake being trans? Isn't it just a feeling? What even is a woman? No, no, we are not doing that. Holy sh! I am not being this type of channel. God, Christ, f Okay, why would anyone even do this? This seems silly, right? In all fairness, it seems like everyone wants to start a battle pass these days. I mean, Markiplier did it, but imagine if he had honkers. Now that's quality content. I stand by this and whatever this is. That's what I thought. But it's hard to start an OF career, like for anyone. And it really helps if people already know you. Look at these mainstream celebrities and like what they did when they started an Battle Pass. Bella Thorne on her own broke the entire fucking platform. She's like the PewDiePie of my world. Cis women do have the biggest potential audience. Most of the user base are guys and most guys like cis girls. Apart from my audience, they love <laughs> Some people like Amaranth or Belle Delphine can make millions every single month. It's insane. Everyone saw that tweet and went, oh, I need to make one right now, including me. That's the case for less than like one in 20 million people. I think that's how many creators there are on OF. So if you're not a content creator or a celebrity, you're not known on the internet, what do you do? You can try and compete with 20 million other people or you can find a niche. And what's a popular niche right now? Trans one is actually trend. <laughs> It's becoming one of, or in uh, Texas's case, the most popular category. <laughs> According to The Hub, research purposes. It's become a massive category and universally trans people love that fact. That was a lie, they do not like it. A big problem you'll hear trans women talking about a lot is fetishization. <laughs> Did I say that right? Fetishization, Christ, that's a spitty word. We're gonna have to bleep that anyway, aren't we? <laughs> So when I started making cross-dressing and fanboy content on OF, it sparked a little bit of controversy. <laughs> I get it. I've actually probably done a little bit of real harm to the trans community by adding popularity to the whole like, oh my God, it's actually a boy meme. Play the clip. I didn't know the knights had hot cat girls too. Actually, I'm a boy. No, you're fucking not. No, really, I'm a- I said, no, you're fucking not. I still think about that a lot, but this isn't the right video to apologize and unpack old guilt. Also, holy sh I never pretended to be something I'm not. And that brings us to our protagonists of this story. Cis women with fake peepees in their trousers. There are actually way more accounts like this than I thought. And I just found another one a second ago. Did I just find a fucking another one? Oh my God, I did. Jesus Christ. You might be able to spot the reason why people have a problem with them fairly quickly if you start reading the bios. Professional woman. Oh my fucking God, the banner. Okay. Is this damage control or is it fucking just for funny? Used to look manlier, but still a dude. I collab with other transgenders. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that emoji would be. <laughs> 2005 girly with a special weapon. Come find out. Oh, I'm fucking gonna. I'm so manly and probably bigger than you. <laughs> God damn it. The weird dude from high school is now a girl. <laughs> you already know. I do stuff with other transgenders. <laughs> now, okay, to be fair, one of them stole my bio. I don't know if I should be more or less mad, Uh, but look, most popular woman male of all time. There's one slight difference between that though. I am gender fluid. I am not a trans woman and I would not make that joke if I was. Also, I made both of the jokes in my bio. Her pronouns are he, him. Way back in the day, it's kind of a legacy thing from being a femboy. I also had the, I also have the URL, gigachad.gg. It's because I'm gender fluid and not a woman. <laughs> Some of the bios are a little bit shitty. Being so sad that they're trans, but also check out my dick pics, by the way. That even though they're a trans woman, they're still a dude. Check out my dick pics, by the way. There are two extra really interesting things about this though. One of them is that all of these accounts are stupid stupidly popular, like to the point where their first tweets hitting like 40,000 likes sometimes, millions of views, first time posting. Or when you go through their following list, you start to realize that they follow people that haven't tweeted in years. It is so strange. Joined May 2014, but their first post was last month, which is confusing, but not really when you think about it. These accounts are gonna get mass reported. They also want a really early kickstart. So what people do is they buy old creator accounts or just Twitter accounts that have a lot of followers or higher engagement, delete all their posts, remake it, sometimes unfollow people, sometimes not, which why all a lot of these is why they have zero following and they rinse and repeat. I'm talking like each person might have 10 separate accounts with different names that all go back to the same place.
place or different places. It's all the same person though. They're on Twitter, they're on Instagram, they're everywhere. But whatever, that's the same case for like every bot account on Twitter ever. But the other reason why they have so many accounts is way funnier to me. They keep getting community noted on Twitter. <laughs> One of their posts have gone a little bit viral and has now been taken down. But before it went down, readers added context they thought people might want to know. These two are cisgender women. They are not transgender. This is part of a grift to make money off of the trans community. Notably, both of the caption of this tweet and the account's bio play into transphobic caricatures of trans women as being feminine boys. Holy shit. Thank you, Twitter. Where's the Google award for like the first time something's ever been said? I'll take that now. In fact, is the account gone? Oh no, it's just new now. Wait, no. What the f***? They changed the whole f***ing account. Holy sh**, I just realized this is a f***ing new account I haven't even seen before, but it's the same motherfucker. I have found six different accounts of this one person so far. Oh my f***ing god, they changed their pronouns to sh she slash he, so they wouldn't get like yelled at as much. That's so funny. She he. I'm like totally a dude and manly and stuff. I love to collab with other trans flags. You wanna check out my dick, by the way? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This video's gone on way too long without me saying this. How do I even know that they're cis women? They could be trans. Community note aside, it's a community no, no one's got their birth certificate to hand. How do we even know? There is, as far as I'm aware, zero actual proof that these are cis women and not trans women. Why am I even making this video? These are all allegations. Well, I spoke to one of them. I'm in an interesting position where technically I'm the biggest femboy account that exists. These girls themselves, or most likely their management agency, know who I am. So when I paid money to subscribe to them on OF, I had a nice little chat. I'm gonna show you that chat. So I asked for some pointers on how they're doing so well and got this in response. Okay, I gotta know. I saw through Twitter, everyone's going nuts because you're a cis girl. How come you haven't said anything yet? I mean... Every publicity is good, right? Ha 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 ha! No! Because <laughs> all of those people come here to see it and I just show it for money, you know? I said, very fair. I got sh back in the day. <laughs> so it's kind of a win-win for me either way. What a bitch. <laughs> Listen, I'm sure that's not actually the girl talking to me. I'm nearly certain that's just some dude on the other side of the world. It would be insane to run the amount of accounts they do. Also, uh, how I got to that point in the conversation, we shouldn't talk about. Just FYI, when people do subscribe, you don't see it. It. You know. The reason why I had to say that was there's a bunch of posts on the page and they say, hit me up if you want to see it unblurred. So you're paying for blurred photos and then you get no word of a lie. You get sent a $30 pay-per-view for three photos? $30? I gotta charge so much more money. What the fuck? They're getting paid so much. Whoa. All because of people being curious about why they're getting hated on so much if they're cis women and then finding out. The reason why I haven't showed any names in all of this video is I don't want to fucking promote these people. Also, it's an OFDM and I don't want the YouTube gods to smite me. The reason I'm showing it anyway is I wasn't going to make this video. I actually was kind of mixed about the whole thing until I talked to them and realized they were a bit of that there is no good faith in any of this, that they are just rage baiting. It seems a little gross to me. You know what's grosser? $10 per picture? Are you joking? I want to see some real peen, bro. I want to see some real pee pee, dude. I don't want to see a toy. This sh cost me like a new microwave, bro. $10 per fake pic. What the f***? Bro. But there's more to it. Still, this is a controversial subject, and I want to clarify a few things. Cisgender and transgender are just descriptors, in the exact same way that short and tall are. Gender is something we kind of just all made up over time as a society. Yeah, there are biological components to it, but how we currently define man and woman are based on gender. So, hmm. A tall man's a man, a trans man's a man, a short man is not a man, but pop off king, I guess. <laughs> But the bit that we didn't make up was the first bit. You can't identify as tall. You can't identify as tall when you're only five foot ten, because in the same way that the sky is blue, you are short. <laughs> <laughs> you are short because I can measure your height and see that you're under the average. And then I get to call you short. Short, tiny, tiny man. But you can't scientifically test for gender. It's in your brain. It's kind of like your opinions or your personality. It would still be really weird if a trans man or woman tried convincing everyone that they were cis. Not out of any need for safety, but to make money. It's odd. It's weird. TERFs do not agree though. I'm not really a political channel, so if you're not familiar with the term, it stands for Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminist. Basically feminists that don't agree that trans women are uh, women. And that they're men in disguise and they're trying to hurt them. So while they may believe that trans women are faking being real women for some sort of gain, they're fine with it for the other way around, for genuine monetary gain. <laughs> Kiana, a mutual of mine on Twitter, tweeted about this about a week ago and said, seeing cis girls shoving in their pants and pretending to be trans for money makes me so annoyed my gender isn't your costume. Guys, 
Just in case you didn't get the joke, my gender isn't your costume is a thing that people have been saying to trans women for a while. I'm gonna show you the quote retweet, but that joke went right over the head. Man who wears woman as a costume upset that women are wearing his gender as a costume. Man sees not the irony. Yeah, they did. That was why they said that at the end. That's actually really funny because that's actually, that was actually the joke. That's crazy. That was the joke in the, the entire time. That's wild. Crazy. That would be a good TikTok sound. Can you make that sound good? Thanks. Crazy. I was, I was crazy, crazy once. once. Obviously, there's bullshit from both sides. The person here is just wishing violence on them, which is just not right, no matter what someone really does there. It's Twitter. It ain't that deep. Turf accounts like this exist purely just to f with trans people. Like, I'm in the comments calling them turfs for saying those girls aren't really trans. It's quite possibly the most ironic series of posts I've ever seen on social media. Man seeing an ironic post doesn't see the irony. I swear to God, I was getting the same sh like woman face. I get the woman face comment now, which is hilarious. All I'm hearing is the fact that you think I pass. Thanks. But there was one tweet that genuinely stuck out to me. On a reply to one of these accounts posts, someone said, how come you haven't deleted this account yet? Did you spend too much on botting likes and followers? <laughs> this person responded, why should she delete it? Biotrans. Huh. Why should she delete it? Biotrans are valid and should be embraced and accepted. Biotrans women are real women and should be protected. And then they link this. On the gender wiki, which also happens to have uh, the best sexuality that exists, finsexual, which I still find hilarious to this day. I pulled this up so you know I'm not lying. It means someone who is exclusively attracted to those who are feminine in nature. So it doesn't matter about gender. It's just that's where you be if you like feminine motherfuckers, regardless of their gender. That's fucking me, dude. Dude, it that's still the greatest coincidence in my entire life, by the way. They also show as an identity, AFAB trans femme, which has a flag. AFAB trans femme refers to someone who was assigned female at birth, AFAB, and identifies as a transgender woman or trans feminine. Reasons for this could range from feeling like a girl, a girl or a woman in a trans way, feeling related to trans womanhood or trans femininity, or identifying as a girl bee, that sounds like a Pokemon, or with other non-binary genders. Wait, is that a good point? Is this just a new type of gender? Why do I get to decide which gender identity is valid and which one isn't? Why does anyone? And honestly, this isn't the worst line of reasoning. If it's actually how they feel, then of course. Wear a packet, express your gender identity however you want. And screw everyone that says anything differently. Well, this is why I made this video. I don't know. I can't verify how any of these girls live their life. She might go through a lot of shit over how she identifies and chooses to express it. This could all be completely legitimate and we're just being assholes trying to police her life. Oh wait, no. Oh my God. How could I forget? She just outright admitted to rage baiting for money in my DMs. <laughs> Okay, well, maybe some of the other girls are genuine. It's technically possible. It's technically possible. I don't get it, but there's plenty of stuff I don't understand. Most things, actually. Personally, I used to be right wing. But even if you go back to like the start of when I'm streaming, while well, I'm doing cross-dressing streams, I'm 20 years old at that time. And even then I say stuff that I don't believe today, that it was just a bad opinion. And if I'm gonna be on the wrong side of history because I don't understand something, I wanna get better. But okay, I've only seen a few people identify as bio-trans because yes, that's actually a real term, but the only people I've ever seen doing it are like political people doing a parody of gender politics, stretching the concept of gender self-identification as far as it can go as a concept. Is it all just trolls? Yeah, maybe yeah. Okay, but hey, if there's someone out there that really wants to be an AFAB trans woman, who cares? The worst you can do is annoy a few people and I do that all the time anyway. But please, if you're gonna do that for all that's good in the world, don't lie to people on the internet and then send them a 30 f***ing dollar pay-per-view of a d no, are you kidding me? The cutest villains. <laughs> I gotta put that joke in the video at some point. No one's gonna comment about it.